Let's jump into some awesome indoor cycling tech today. Sounds good. We're going to check out this setup from a cyclist named Esco. Okay. And it is seriously impressive. Yeah, right. You got your smart trainers. Yeah. You got virtual courses and like data out the wazoo. Lots of data. Yeah. So let's just like break down how this all comes together. Okay. And luckily I've got uh, an expert with me today who can just walk us through all the technical nitty gritty. Yeah. Happy to help. I'm, you ready to get into the like nuts and bolts of this whole setup? Let's do it. Awesome. Yeah. The smart trainer. Okay. Um, It's not just like a stand for your bike, you know? Right. This thing actually measures like how much power you're putting out. Oh, wow. And it can even change the resistance. What? Based on like the virtual terrain you're riding on. Really? Yeah. So like in the app. Yeah, exactly. In apps like Zrift and Ruby. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's like so cool that it can like adjust the resistance based on like if you're going uphill in the app. It is. Is that like a recent thing? Uh, it's been around for a few years now, okay. but it's definitely gotten a lot more like refined and accurate over time. I see. Um, and the thing that makes it work is something called the FEC standard, which uh, Esco mentioned. Right. And basically what that means is that the app and the trainer can actually talk to each other. Oh, wow. So the app can tell the trainer like, hey, make it harder to pedal now because you're going uphill. Gotcha. And then the trainer can also send data back to the app about like how fast you're going and what your power output is. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, it's really this like dynamic feedback loop. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's almost like a conversation between like your actual bike and the virtual world. Exactly. That's wild. Yeah. And I also noticed that Esco uses rollers for training too. He does. How do those fit into this whole like tech heavy setup because they seem kind of different yeah rollers are like a whole different thing okay um they don't adjust the resistance like a smart trainer does right but they're amazing for developing your balance and just making your pedal stroke like super smooth oh so it's like yeah it's kind of like the purest form of cycling training i see um but if you want to use rollers with like zwift or other apps yeah you need to have power meter pedals okay or like a crank based power meter gotcha um so that it can actually send data about how hard you're working interesting yeah so that makes sense well lets you choose between different screen layouts okay so you can focus on whatever's most important to you i see so if you're really into like tracking your power output and your heart rate yeah you can have a screen that just shows you that okay. or if you want like a more immersive experience uh -huh. with like less data cluttering up your view you can do that too wow that's super cool yeah it's really up to you that's awesome yeah that's interesting yeah and that power graph helps him see how consistently he's staying in that zone right so he can make sure he's getting the most out of his workout so it's almost like having a virtual coach right there with you yeah exactly that's super cool it's pretty awesome. And I couldn't help but notice Esco doing this like sprint finish. Yeah. Even though it was a virtual race. Right. It seems like even in the virtual world, the competitive spirit is still like totally going strong. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's one of the best things about these platforms. Okay. Is that they really tap into like the social aspect of cycling. Yeah. So, you know, you can race against other people, you right. can join group rides. You can even like experience virtual versions of like iconic cycling events, wow. which is really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine trying to explain this whole setup to someone like 10 years ago? No. They'd be like, what are you talking about? They think we're training for a trip to the matrix or something. Exactly. That's hilarious. It's wild how far technology has come. 